pajava java. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, um, with beers, I've been trying to lay off the beers recently. Uh, Got to get rid of this boomer beer belly, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Give it ten so, years or something. Uh, anyway, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll play. I'll play in a <laughs> to celebrate four hundred dollars per month on the Patreon that goes all the way to the players. We will now play a live version of the jingle. If isolation's got you feeling blue, there's only one thing left to do. Patches out. Let's play Co two. It's the Corona Cup. There you go. Whew. That, so you're... Right. That was all right. Whoa! It's your all been absolutely nose annihilated. Nose <laughs> it doesn't! You've got to be a showman, man. It is a show I'm at the end of the day. Out. And one thing we know for certain, one thing we know for certain is that Asia Mint on the left of the title card is currently 1-0 up in this grand final. Possibly about to win $500 if you can only win just two games more. But there's a little problem, Ed, and it's in the south. Explain that problem for us, please. Takes the form of Russian mastermind. It's like a chess grandmaster comes into Kotu in the form of Nico, and he's taking on the thinking man's faction, Wehrmacht. Oh, yes, Wehrmacht. We absolutely love this stuff. It's the, uh, it is indeed the thinking man's faction. It's all about uh, DAT combined arms, and you've got to love it because of that. Until you lose your MG42, then it's Panic Man's faction. <laughs> but uh, with the old. Um, Ostrup and locked in. It's going to go for an early game push against Asian Mint. Like he absolutely has to. But I've just muted the fact that it still mutant. says best of three in the UI. So absolute maximum production qualities, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are, best, of course, only the best. <laughs> One nil to Asian Mint, of course. He is playing as the Soviets, as Ed has mentioned. But these bulletins, though, six percent less on those TM thirty fives. But wait. They build 10% faster. And do you yeah, like really Satchel's? Yeah. He's uh, getting them for 3% less. Not that he's going to throw any of them, of course, because he's Best gone for bulletins in the game for Soviets, in my mind. But uh, with Asia Mint as Soviets, I'm glad I got my Piotka on. I, I fancy he's got, um, you know, conscripts on this map, green cover. Amelie Fields, big wide open fields for a bit. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be very sturdy against the slightly weaker Ostrup. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I think they're they're definitely a lot cheaper and they're definitely weaker. But you, the fact that you can get them on the field so much quicker, it just gives you that Vermat breathing space you need mm. and gets your MG42 repositioning with the time afforded to it. You know, he's, he wouldn't be able to do this if he just had a Pioneer and a one Gren on the field, Ed. Yeah, I'd like to see also Nico if he invests in the field officer at uh, 2 CP. That can be a crucial unit for your build or if, if you've got the manpower which Ostrup and Len to uh, produce really they give you a lot of spare manpower as you've been saying if you keep them alive and behind good cover they're pretty versatile them big shout out to our working from home community manager general it is Ari Andy in chat big up. Andy's a bit of a legend big up yourself Andy it took me about two years to realize he Rear echelon, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, well, community manager is like, like a rear echelon, you know. <laughs> but you're banned, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, it's Obersal Dot and Quinn Duffy. Rear echelon, Andy. Oh, poor Andy. Anyway, we've got we've got combat engineers of Asia Mint who's been playing a blinder so far today. Probably about 7 a.m. in the morning by now in Korea, but he's uh, he's rocking it. However, Nick Nagano is like a hornet's nest that's been kicked by a fat, ignorant child. And he's buzzing right now. He's all over the place. Yeah, just look at his MG42. It's repositioning like oh, three or four times already in this early game, but doesn't get the arc to finish off those concepts oh. on retreat. I can't quite sneak around the others. Good good use of uh, side blockers there from Asian. The Two man Obersal Lawton's uncovered. They get the hell out of there, as you'd expect. I'll tell you what, this map's great for a fervent action, Ed. It's just all over the place, but in a good way. Yeah. I, it reminds me of Feynmanville and Bayou had like a love child and produced a really nice synergy map. It's got mm. um, a lot of roads, not with negative cover on, so it's a bit more forgiving. And uh, it, it just, it's a nice map to enable pushes. Look, at, look how deep we saw. No, nice MG retreat. Oh, that 
second burst, Ed. That second yeah. burst could have been a buzzsaw. That would have been awesome, but they couldn't quite he, get it he off. He did the reload bulletin on his MG. <laughs> <laughs> War of the bu bulletins. But four cons and two uh, combat pioneers for Asian mids. But I have a lot of field presence. But you know what that means? Nico's going to thin the herd with a... ...be crucial in the early game here. And here it is. We're looking down that train track right now and coming to a station near you is the 251 Flammenwerfer party half track. Yeah, it's going to be burning down the house. And just five more talking head munitions. Uh, Nico's going to have enough munitions for the old medics as well. So a flamethrower half track and meds in five minutes of the game. Very good. Sign and of power here the roster. conscripts go on a road to nowhere. As the, hard tracks, <laughs> uh, as the hard track's about to become a psycho killer. This must be the place right here on Amelie Fields. On the conscripts are standing in front of them. That's a bit of a naive melody, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I mean, that'll do. That'll do. But it's only once in a lifetime you see <laughs> oh. Nagorno and Asia Mint in such an amazing battle such as this one. Everyone telling us to shut up except us. <laughs> Oh, God, Ed. We need to stop being egotists and self-memeing here because only about 1% of chat are getting the jokes. So, uh, no, well, for that 1%, that one was for you. Well, those eight were with you, rather. But if it inspires them to look up some good 80s music, it's hashtag worth, I think, in my mind. <laughs> yeah, possibly. But possibly, flame, possibly. Flame for uh, half track or flamity flippancy is colloquially coined. It's running amok now. Conscripts do have the 18 8 and Molotovs upgraded, just for shits and googles. But uh, it does look does look like Nico's advantage here in the early game. Bring on the T-70s, yelling Asia mids troops. Here they come. The conscripts backed up by a Rock 9 flamethrower. The Austroop in a repositioning. Pioneer join in the fun. The 251 half tracks only got the one kill, which is good mitigation by Asia Mint. And as soon as available to him, he has now gotten the M42 AT gun. So party time could be over. Well, much like the U-Boat Crow. Oh, nice 18 aid as well. Yep, and the M42 Pipa gun is ready to go as well to, to back up that damage the engine up. So Nico's got to be a bit careful. He can't get too ballsy with this, this key early game unit. It's all going down. Nagano's on the the, ra the rails. Just and he's aging through. Look at that MG42. It's just shut down completely. Asia meant three squads running back to base due to it. That's where the old blobbin does not help you. No, it does not. A what a turnabout in here. Fortune's head. Yeah. This is awesome. What a flame half track can do in the early game. Oh, MG42 is going to cycle through its gunners. Oh, Nico catches and gets the hell out of there just in time. A greedier Super. player would have stayed there to try and get the <laughs> and lost all his worst well. player. <laughs> You need to be aggressive and come near us, but you also need to uh, be passive at times and make the correct decision, and Nick Nagano is a master of that. Check out the, the more expensive now Battle Phase 2, but it probably will be clicked very soon. Nico's got to think, does he need a Panzer Shrex on his Pegrens, or will he go for a pack before he tacks up, just to be safe? Everyone dancing in the same S minefield, but the, the Pioneers do have a sweeper out, so it's fine. The M42 hates this shed. It might be the 251 <laughs> half track behind it, but it's just going to continue. It knew the amount of DIY involved in pulling it up and uh, missed opportunities of watching the footy. <laughs> Taking out the shed. <laughs> Pegren's in the middle, meanwhile, catching a very low HP conscript. Oh, oh and the Flamer demise. half track's reversing after the Flamer himself. Yeah, he's just, he's just keeping Asian men contained at the moment. He's. Managed to sneak one conscript off though, as uh, the yes, and they're off. planting a, uh, a tripwire flare as well. So, uh, all good stuff. Yep, cheeky play there. Ten munitions for potentially sixteen or thirty-four manpower. Depends if the Pequens or Austria can hit it. Oh, that was a cheeky um, machine gun emplacement there, stopping the advance of the Panzer Grenadiers. And here comes, as Ed famously calls it, the Flamity Flupen. Z. <laughs> Damn it! I Mark failed. Z. Nah, nah, just. <laughs> no. I don't MG know. is now a Co. One MG with only three men, thanks to that parachute in the sky that has his soul inside. 
Nico did go. He has finally gone for healing, but he has got Battle Phase 2 up. So here comes the Tier 3 structure. The old support armor core, which does tell you when you build it, you can get Panzerwerfers. But we've had many patches since then, so it is a big debate. You cannot get Panzerwerfers out of it. That requires Tier 4. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> can debate you. And a, a new little addition from the balance team. Uh, I'd say last patch, I think it was. Not this one. The... Flamity Flippy or 251 half jack can lay mines at bed one. So gets the old shoe mine, which is nice. Neat. Yeah, pretty neat indeed. My favourite change ever for the half track was the healing. We just don't see enough of it, unfortunately. Yeah. Mine, by the way, on this Austrian retreat. You lose it. This yep. is gonna be fun. Solid mining here still from Austrian. Oh, from Asian Mint, sorry. Against the Austrian. Flying back <laughs> Solid on the mining! Yeah. As they <laughs> Austrian have mines! <laughs> What is this? But uh, no T-34 just yet, or even tech structure built for Asia, man. Don't know if he's just going to do the Omega Lols KV-2 or not. Only four CPs. Strumpen beckoning the conscripts on, onto the S-mine. They should remember where it was roughly located, but uh, we'll see. Oh, he's getting close to it. Keep an eye elsewhere as the Austrian battle against the conscripts and um, nice my nice grenade was thrown there. 45 munitions down the drain as the conscripts only lose two soldiers. Yep. Still testing your opponent's reactions all the time, especially to go later in tournament. Reactions may may slow down. Good mine there, taking out 68 worth of manpower on those Panzer Grens. Oh, it's painful. Nice. Oh, West mines en enabled. As the 251 gets a brutal burst of flame in, but all four soldiers survive. And now we've got crits. this. Yeah, from the conscripts, a few more crits on the back of this MG42. Great covering work there by Nico with his flying check. And as the map just gets more and more sea of red merging all over it, it looks like we may get a second winner from the south of this side. <laughs> Conscripts in all kinds of trouble as the 251 goes for a northern assault. Oh, that was a lucky oh. escape. Just going to skip out alive. We do have Panzergrens suppressed after a mine. Two models taking off combat engineer and sweeper. Who wins? Oh my god, they're winning, but they bundle lady oh, themselves. What the hell? Oh. That How did they survive that? Risky and it's 25% friendly damage from your own explosives. And uh, they tanked it, absolutely tanked it. Maybe frustrations of the last game are spilling over oh. into this one. Oh, Strupen. Safe as ours is, mate. Safe as ours. Meanwhile, the Flak Panzer is built for Nico. Interesting. Okay. He, could have, he only... could have gone for P4. He had the fuel. Chooses uh, Oswin instead. It is a T70 for Asia. Mint. Bit of a mismatch, but. What? A Soviet player's gone T70? Yeah, he what is this? Never I'm, 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 <laughs> hang on a sec. I've never you seen this five before. Shot into KV2. What? What, are <laughs> what is this madness? Where are the fuel caches? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first unit built. <laughs> Ostrupen forced away on mass as the T70 rears its um, pyramid-shaped head. P Gwen's idling though with Nico. It is true, folks. Pro Co2 players can have idle units too. So don't uh, feel bad you about go. yourselves. <laughs> They're human, but that's, I think that's come with Asia Mint's, uh, you know, advance on the map as well. So he could have had them out there battling. Yep, definitely seesaw. And at the moment, flak half, sorry, flak half, flak bands is going away, but the flame half tracks in trouble. The T smells blood. Goes for some veterancy on the flak bands instead. This is side shots. And we've got the Zis, oh sorry, the M42 rather, getting some shots in from afar. Meanwhile, S-Mine was planted, by the way, so this Conscript won't be able to get that fuel until he's got some support. Maybe the T-70 will come and mine sweep for him, and indeed he will. Double Panzer Guns count. pushing together, but without a mine sweep, it could be running into another 68 manpower cost. Flag Panzer in a bit of trouble, could get snared up here, but Asian does not risk see the amount of damage oh, he's taking the Conscript there. died? Retreat. The Conscripts were annihilated there by the, oh, um, the S-Mine. Ah, brilliant. And the Oswin's going all the way into the enemy territories. It now finds a T-70. It's got a full salvo ready. 
It's not aircraft, it's hunting today. Benjamin gets it's the snare off on the flag panzer, but mass P Gwen blob on his cutoff. It's doing work. And by the way, the Pyos just died. To Mexico, I go spotted that on the unit. Title cards as a mine detonates yep. on the Ostfin. Very low on health now, and the SU-76 is on its way. So I tell you what, that could be a very stricken Ostfin <laughs> that needs imminent repairs, and it might not happen. As the M42 that was taken from Soviet hands is decrewed, but a vital Faust comes in, and then a recrew from the Ostrupen. That is the power head of Ostrupen. Yeah. Boots on the ground, and uh, the old people gun. Oh, one, one more shot! Couldn't nope. get it! T-70 remains. Now, look at the SU-76 that suddenly may become the best unit on the map. A -B Big round. shot in. A -B Need round. another. <laughs> Needs another. MG-42 doesn't Misses. load Misses! Needs another. SU-76 gets the kill. Nails him. But he is going to have to go past the AP round. Oh! The fouls. He's just recruited again. He's just recruited again. M42 is going to go for the SU-76. We've got full, we've got incendiary rounds as well. As they both is. take them out. Now the T-70 Beautiful. could be in trouble. What no, a turnaround there. AP rounds. I called for it. it. Finally came. But the T-70 lives crucially. And I think losing an SU-76, uh, it's, it's not too bad. It took out the flag panzer. So it's done well for its cost. And there's still this Vet 2 terror on wheels. Roaming the battlefield. This is... This is worrying times now for uh, Nico suddenly. A very good username in chat, Animosity Frenzy, says everything happened. And it is indeed <laughs> a frenzy of animosity as everything is happening. As the T-70 is about to get a kill. No, it isn't. Get that now, guy in the casting booth right now. <laughs> <laughs> very slow Faust comes in like a, uh, a peewee football. Oh no, oh no. M42. Bit of extra ballsiness from this T-70. Could be his demise. Swing of the Shakira hips as the M42 crew try and wiggle out of damage. Now they set down on their shop. It's oh, one more shot required. One. Left yep. hook, right hook. Here it comes. Oh. But the T70 again clips the M42 before it was too late. Meanwhile, by the way, we've missed Panzer Grenadiers pushing stuff back to base. That two man combat engineer did survive. But do you know what might not survive? This 251 hard track because the conscripts are waiting for the 18A to be come back. They've got 20 seconds. But it's got a main gun destroy <laughs> critical, Ed. <laughs> Where are your flamity floopins now? Oh, They're limp the on the side. You need flamity floopin <laughs> Viagra. Oh, bit of suppression for the boys. Why, why isn't he driving it out of there? Maybe <laughs> he gets it. Accepting his fate. Shock troops could oh, go down bad. as well. Sturm Gewehrs. They got held up by the conscripts, and somehow they survived thanks again to the T-70, which this time does die to the M42. What a battle we're watching! Yeah, stolen equipment for the old Nico there. Oh. Super not good enough. He's having to use Soviet technology, but to maximum results. Finally takes down the T-70. And <laughs> that debating me. I was like, what the finally typed in chat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, what a battle there. And this is just game two, remember, of game five. The stamina is going to have to be off the charts for both these players. Nice Molotov in the mid here, displacing the Ostrupen. Ten Ostrupers though versus five cons. Who are you picking? Um, give me ten minutes and seven rolls of dice and I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, the M42 again has been um, taken out. Yeah, they love, uh, they love dropping models on that thing, but they are Ostrupen models. Remember, when you recoil a weapon, they do have the stats of whatever. It does have an itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini as a shield, not giving much <laughs> cover at all. But safe enough for Playboy in the 1970s. Ha ha! Ostrupen run from the Pepeshaz, yeah. but the Pepeshaz can only fire one meter. That is historically accurate. They, uh, you know, had a bullet drop of 10 meters down per one meter forward. Nico's gone in again for the old Flak Panzer the fourth of Warwickshire, and he'll be squaring up against another SC6, but without the little terror of the T-70 around, looks like it's swinging back in the favor of Nico again. Pushing the shock troops back, a eh? Sprinting in unison as they get their head out of there. Oh, this oh, is going to be a to. lot of manpower damage, potentially, if this Flak Panzer... Oh, gets just one of them. Oh, bit of um, body armor slash... Better received accuracy and a lot of other squads helping them out there. There's a lot of people in chat that are about to correct me. I'm so sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourself. 
Chat is <laughs> Tree flying in the sky. I love following these trees. It's going to land. Oh, it came back. There we go. That's he a little... is the master of tr or sub orbital tree trajectory planning. Storm Jaeger, after not taking your advice, a still talking in chat. And he asked, How did the T 70 die? It died to. Soviet's very own M42 gun, stolen by the Austrian. Ah, 15 minute Jaeger with an excellent comment. Thank you. <laughs> the secret fave, eh? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good lad. He's a good lad. And Asia Mint has thrown oh. the towel, keeping his endurance for the late game. He saw the writing on the yeah. wall. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Isolation has you feeling blue. There's only one thing left to do The patch is out, let's play CO2 It's the Corona Cup <laughs> And we are back, baby That's quite an interesting surrender time I think that was more I don't know, the, the long-term view see. there for Asian men. You instantly called it, Matt, but I... I thought, I don't know, an SC-76 and a Dream still was comebackable, but yeah, there you have it. One all on the old games, is it? I don't even know what game we're on. I swear that was game two. <laughs> it's one all, yeah, it's one all. One all yeah. We're now entering Oof. a best of three. We might as well just, uh, you know, we'll update that on the, um, mind you. Why is that on my screen? I don't know what that is. The next map, by the way, will be a new map, completely new, called... Argentan Crossroads. It's been ported over from Company of Heroes 1, and we're going to be playing a tournament game on it for the very first time. It's by somebody called White Fleur Ash, and um, yeah, we're going to try it out in a tournament. So there you go. Argentan Crossroads, coming soon. Oh, <laughs> I'm just catching my breath again. That those battles were intense. Strange, uh, strange retreat. Uh, sorry, strange um, surrender timing. Just kind of came as an anti climax. It's like, whoa, we're going to finally get round two digging between the flak pans and the SC 76. But yeah, I think uh, just preserving his brain juice for the future games, perhaps for Asia, man. But good just game from Nico. Yep. Yeah. Just under Great. a thousand live viewers, by the way, everybody. Big, big. Up yourselves, we're a very strong, albeit um, we're not a massive community, but we've got a decent size, and it's always great to see so many pleasant faces and voices in chat. So, um, yeah, familiar faces, faces new faces as well. If seeing a company of heroes, too, fun. it's an amazing game full of uh, very unique uh, RTS mechanics that you can't find in other games, and it's the proof's in the pudding, as they say over here in the UK. It stood the test of time, and that's that's all you need to know. I mean, I can't wait for the third iteration when it comes. Uh -huh. 